The days of going to the record store to get a new album are almost gone. Instead, most people simply log online to programs like iTunes or Amazon to get their favorite music. But there's a new player entering that digital music scene from right here in the corridor. Fox 28's Brian Scott shows us how a local library is turning heads across the country with a local sound. So that makes me happy. You'll hear people say, music is my life. Nice. Well, for Patrick Bloom, <laughs> It's also a living. <laughs> a living he makes one show at a time in Iowa City. I came here in 98 to play with a band called The Mayflies, which is a lot of people kind of doing it independently, but uh, it's kind of a really supportive scene. Support is huge because the money Tonight is usually isn't. People. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's crucial. So most nights it's about exposure. Maybe, maybe spreading their songs to as many people as possible. A goal that just got a lot easier with some hometown help. We have this great local music scene that's kind of underexposed. The Iowa City Public Libraries launched the Local Music Project. Think iTunes, but local. And with one big difference, it's all free. Just all, log in with your library card number. There are 58 albums now you can download and you own them. You can put them on your mobile device, keep them forever. A good deal for library members. We've got stuff that isn't available anywhere else. And a great deal. Oh, what a cool creative idea. For artists like Bloom. The library actually leases the music, about $100 per album, so these guys actually make some cash, and they say so much more. Money isn't like the driving force in it. It's about sharing music, and it's about supporting the local music community by supporting the local community in general. I've been borrowing CDs from the public library for years, and it's a really great way to get turned on to new music and not have to plunk down a lot of cash. So far, it's a hit. A few weeks ago, we had close to 4,000 songs downloaded. Libraries across the country have even been in contact with Iowa City wanting to launch similar projects to support their own local bands. As for this local scene, Bloom and his colleagues plan to keep supporting the project as long as they can. We are going to be sending two of the Mayflies uh, records. I can only imagine it will grow if John and the public library has the energy for it. Because the bands sure do, for every show, every chance to be heard. <laughs> Brian Scott, Fox 28 News. Wow, the Fairlings, the Mayflies, the Awful Purdies, all local bands and all good. The first round of the project's been so successful, the library hopes to add more bands next year. Let's hope they do it. To check it out for yourself, just head to our website, kfxa.tv, where we've included a link. Remember, you must be an Iowa City library card holder to use the project. What a